Every human being on the face of this planet, including yourself watching through this crazy little screen, holds masculine and feminine energies. It's the divine dualities that create unity, right? Now, women predominantly hold feminine energy. Men hold predominantly masculine energy. However, you may be noticing this crazy little twist of men becoming more feminine and women becoming more masculine. And this is due to all the crazy ideologies and subconscious and conscious cues being pushed in mass media. We see it all the time that women should start stepping up into their powerful, strong, independent selves through their nine to five breadwinning jobs and pushing birth control. I mean, 60 plus percent of women are on birth control today. And this is dysregulating their hormones and detaching them from their monthly cycles and making them infertile as well. And then men, on the other hand, are having a ton of estrogens in their body, these xenoestrogens, which are these chemicals that mimic estrogen in the body, which is destroying our testosterone. So that's the physical health thing. And then there's also the mental thing of just back down, man, everything will work out. You know, don't take control of your own life. And this is causing us to feel weak as men because masculinity is all about strength and fortitude. So in this video, we're gonna talk about ways that you can up-level your masculine, divine masculine core as a modern man. So let's jump into it. Hello, Goofy Goober in crazy cyberspace. My name is Christian Van Camp. I'm a holistic lifestyle performance coach. I love all things bioharmonizing when it comes to connecting with nature and more natural living and vitality away from pharmaceuticals, big food, big gov, big pharma, all that stuff. It's about connecting back to nature so we can live a more vital and vibrant life. If you haven't joined my email list, my email tribe, please do. I send out weekly wellness emails that can help you out on this health hike. No spam, none of that junk or jargon. And uh, you also get my free guide when you join. So you can head to cvcwellness.com to get that guide and to join my email tribe. In this video, we're gonna talk all about masculine energy. So let's jump into it. So basically everyone carries masculine energy. There's two, two different layers of masculinity. There's the shadow aspects, which are the wounded masculine traits. And then we also have the light aspects. Now these are the divine sacred masculine traits. So some of these shadow aspects you may be aware of and seeing coming out of yourself is being forceful, being aggressive, being dominating or controlling to others, overthinking, getting in the mind versus getting back into the body, overdoing, right? Becoming a human doing and not becoming a human being. This also relates to avoidance, like pushing away and becoming emotionally disconnected or being very demanding. These are all shadow aspects, right? So instead, let's connect into the light. And this is related to being very self-aware, self-conscious, not self-conscious in the way that you're insecure, but conscious of who you are and having clear direction and purpose, having that structure, that decisiveness, not being all wish-washy with your decisions. This is being dependable, being reliable, being solid, resilient, having high willpower and having clarity and focus with where you are now and where you're going and also being providing and supportive to others. So masculine energy is really all about the divine aspects are really all about being stable, predictable, being logical, and really holding a frame to support others and yourself. So let's go into some specific strategies. Specifically, I'm gonna get into nine habits that you can cultivate to work on your masculine energy, your divine masculine energy. Number one is a stillness practice. Even though you are tapping into a feminine energy trait, which is stillness, right? It's not doing things, which is more masculine, Stillness such as meditation really helps us as men connect to our true essence and where we want to go in life. Meditation really, really can help you connect to that eternal part of yourself. And this allows you to really harness where you want to go in life. So the number one thing I can recommend to you is cultivating more of a yoga nidra, NSDR, non-sleep deep rest protocol every single day. Simple as this. You can do this first thing in the morning, right when you wake up. Avoid going on your phone and scrolling and instead go through the arsenal of your noggin. Take some breaths. You just got conscious. You just woke up from sleeping for nine hours, hopefully eight, nine hours. And you're just back into the breath. Your alarm may go off or maybe you woke up naturally. Connect back to the breath and breathe for around five to 10 minutes. And really just focus on, man, I'm alive. I'm connecting into these deep inhalations and exhalations. That is a great stillness practice to hold on to before you go into the doing mode for the day. So just spend five to 10 minutes for the first part of the day as a stillness practice. You can also practice this midday as a good reset if you're in work mode. Take 10 minutes away, lie on your back, 
palms up, maybe music, maybe no music, but just connect back into the body. That stillness practice, that feminine energy helps you slingshot back into the hard charging masculine. Number two out of nine is going into your man cave to recharge. So it's very similar to the stillness practice, but instead, if you live with a partner or you have females in your household, it can be really hard to just come back into that masculine frame because you're just around that feminine energy all the time. Or perhaps you're living alone, or perhaps you have a roommate that's a guy. It doesn't matter. Retreating back into your man cave for a period of time every single day, non-negotiable, away from the computer work, not that kind of stillness practice or scrolling on your phone, but taking time into the real world is really, really beneficial. This could be studying, this could be uh, in your backyard, just swinging on a hammock or in a chair, looking out in the distance at the horizon. This could be in your basement room or having a home gym. I have this awesome pimped out home gym with basically my office. It has my biohacking stuff in there as well, or harmonizing like the ice bath and red light therapy. But finding some area in your home that you can retreat back to, you can read a book, you can journal, you can call one of your man friends and connect with them. That is a great way to harness that masculine energy is by taking that time to recharge in your man cave. Number three is connecting to your strength within your muscles. Now this is lifting weights three, maybe four days a week and really challenging yourself through training hard. Physical strength equates physical strength, like actual physical strength of being able to lift things equates to mental strength, it equates to discipline. So if you can commit to a training program every single week and just building strength week after week, having progressive overload in mind, it's gonna boost your confidence, it's gonna boost your masculine frame, being able to support others physically, mentally, spiritually. And it's gonna help you with that resilience in general. So really, really tap into a fitness program. It's one of the most powerful things you can do as a modern man. Now earlier I brought up calling up your man friend, right? Well, four relates to hanging out with other strong men and connecting with other strong men. Your masculine frame is dependent on other men. It's going back and forth. It's working with one another on challenges that you have. It's calling each other out on your shit. That is so important as a man to have that camaraderie and that brotherhood. And nowadays, a lot of men don't have that. I believe over 40% of men aged like 18 to 40 don't have more than five friends. There's a crazy study out there and it's really sad and it's disheartening and you may be one of them. So what do you do about it? Well, start with online communities. That's one thing I'm really big on and I've actually created a really powerful brotherhood with the Interfit Men's Lifestyle Program. This is a 12 week powerful program for millennial men that want to live a really just empowering life in their masculine frame, boosting energy, boosting testosterone, and eating healthy, nutritious foods, lifting heavy weights consistently. It's the lifestyle approach. And if it sounds like something that you wanna tap into, please don't hesitate to reach out, comment below, or head to cvcwellness.com, book a call with me. We can chat more about where you're at with your challenges and move forward with other strong men in that accountability and support. We have weekly group calls, we have 24 seven communication, there's Q and A's, there's one on one with me. It's really epic and there's so much growth that happens with it. I've worked with over 250 clients and they've all had incredible results and through the Interfit Group Coaching Program specifically, we've had two launches already and they have all felt amazing. I've talked to each and every one of them and it's such an honor to work with these guys. So, I mean, just think about it we're hunter gatherers at heart. If we connect with these other men, it can really help us up level ourselves. So hang out with other strong men. Number five is increasing your testosterone to increase your masculine energy. Testosterone does equate to masculinity, believe it or not. So if your testosterone is below 500 nanograms per deciliter, which is like most men today, the majority of men, three quarters of men have low T and that's actually overlapping to uh, really old men back in the 70s and 60s. Um, like Grandpa Joe back in the 60s, who was like 65, has the same testosterone as a modern 20 year old today. It's really crazy. So how do you boost testosterone? It's pretty simple. Eat nutritious and delicious foods. Focus on those healthy fats like avocado, grass fed beef, sardines, coconut oil, olive oil. Those are all really helpful fats, eggs even. Those cholesterols and sesterate fats boost the testosterone immensely. Cut out all the vegetable oils, right? Like sunflower, safflower, soybean, canola, nasty stuff that's destroying your teeth. Remove all the xenoestrogens, right? This could be something as simple as a scented candle with all these crazy fragrances coming out of it. Or it could be related to that deodorant you're putting under your armpit every day. Just remove xenoestrogens and chemicals in your life. Keep it very simple, but boost your testosterone to boost your masculine energy. Number six is truly having the mindset connected to it and it's taking the lead. It's really taking the lead. Men with masculine energy thrive on taking the lead. Women with feminine energy thrive on being guided. So 
you're in your fem feminine energy if you enjoy having other people take the lead. You're in your feminine. So get out of that hole you've dug yourself in and tap into your masculine core and begin to take the lead. Whether it's you know, going with your girlfriend, request and find the specific restaurant you wanna to go to. You know, Plan out a vacation. Take advantage of taking the lead. This could even be with your, your friends. Take the lead in organizing a group meetup, right? Whatever it may be, take the lead. This is a great way to tap into that strong masculine energy. Number seven is stop watching pornography and begin to tap into your true sexual energy. Pornography absolutely destroys your brain matter. It's true, and I know a lot of men today are struggling with this. I have had pornography issues in the past. It's really not fun because it's truly addicting. What it stimulates in the brain, that dopamine, and then you just feel so worn out and sad afterwards. It's a horrible thing. So some strategies to stop pornography, right? Identify the un underlying reasons, right? Is it because you're stressed? Is it because you're bored or lacking intimacy in your relationships? These are core foundations that lead us into grabbing onto the pornography, right? Also creating a plan. If you have an action plan, you can work through and breaking this habit. So make sure you set specific goals and understand the triggers that lead into the pornography, similar to the underlying reasons, right? Find alternative activities. If you feel yourself like, oh man, I really wanna watch porn, I'm bored right now, or whatever it may be, I'm stressed. Channel that energy into a new habit. It's sexual transmutation. So you're shifting all this sexual energy you have into maybe reading a book or working on your side project or lifting some weights, whatever it may be, in that moment, shift that energy right away. You know, if you wanna explore more about how to uh, work with pornography, I have a whole video on this. It goes really in depth. You can check that out on my channel, but in, re in, in general, just reach out for support. If you can't do it alone, because that's a really good way is you know, talking with your friends or hiring a mentor or a coach. I can certainly help you with this and breaking this habit for good, but cut out the pornography. It's not good for your masculine drive. Speaking of pornography, this relates to your sexual energy, and this is practicing sexual kung fu, coined by Montak Chia, the great Montak Chia, M-A-N-T-A-K-C-H-I-A. -A. Look him up. He has incredible work. He's this old Chinese guy who's really got it down when it comes to the Chinese medicine of sexual energy. You know, really it's about a spiritual practice. It's not about saying don't touch yourself or work this sexual energy. It's about how do I work this energy to support my spiritual and physical health, right? And so there's exercises you can practice with this. And this includes breath control. And so really breathing deep and circulating this energy, um, you know, and, and doing so as well with your partner. You can try this sexual energy loop, which is really working the energy and circulating it so you can orgasm without ejaculation, believe it or not. So the microcosmic orbit that is called, that's a really powerful way to heal your body and vessel. Um, you know, practicing uh, sexual visualization is really good. So you cut out the pornography with the screen and you come into your sexual visualization. That's a great way to go to increase your sexual energy. Um, there's a lot of ways you can go about it, but it's really being in tune with yourself, practicing the semen retention with the sexual the kung fu and massaging the testicles. I have all videos on this as well, so you can explore my channel for that. But in general, it's really all about just working the sexual energy without the end result, but enjoying the journey of it to cultivate your masculine energy. Lastly, I've touched base on this a little bit, but it's related to nutrition. Your masculine energy, the core of your masculine energy is related to your testosterone, increasing your testosterone, but really amp up your masculine energy with nutrition, right? Practice fasting, go on a three-day fast, really have that mental resilience that goes into it. Um, eat healthy foods, you know, smash, smash for uh, fish, salmon, mackerel, anchovies, sardines, and herring. Those are healthy, fatty fish loaded up in omega-3s that are good for your overall testosterone and masculine drive. Grass-fed beef, bison, elk, buffalo, those ruminant animals are great. The healthy fats and oils, I brought those up. Eating sufficient carbohydrates are really important. So don't just go keto mode. Eat that raw honey, those sweet potatoes. All those guys are important. You can also take supplements. I highly recommend taking magnesium. That's going to help immensely with your stress levels, therefore increasing your ability to work with stress and your masculine energy. Most men are deficient in magnesium, like 70 plus percent. This is causing so many issues with poor sleep, low testosterone, etc. Uh, my favorite is Magnesium Breakthrough from Bioptimizers. It has all seven forms plus the cofactors. It's affordable. You can get it for yourself at bioptimizers.com with code CVC Wellness. Check that out. That's a great place to start. You can also play around with Shilajit. Shilajit is epic. Um, it's this ancient resin derived from the Himalayan mountains, and it's loaded up in so many trace minerals, fulvic and humic acids. It's basically a little superfood glob of tar that you can take every morning. I've taken it for years, and it's absolutely been tremendous for my energy levels and testosterone. I like Legit. Legit Gold has a great product that's purified Shilajit, no contaminants, no heavy metals like most of them out there. 
You can get that on sale, I believe, at legitgold.com and use code CBC Wellness for 15% off. That's a great product right there too. But really just amp up your divine masculinity with nutrition. As a modern man, developing assertiveness, cultivating that physical prowess and energy and fortitude, working on your physical strength and that discipline and leading with confidence. These are some take home things to really take a hold of. It really starts with the mindset and then it crystallizes into the physical and other people will feel that energy. They'll feel like, man, this guy's a leader, this guy's strong. I appreciate you for watching. If you got anything else to add, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear more about your opinions and any other videos you'd like me to touch base on. And I'll see you guys on the other side.